Good day, students. My name is Oyekon Oluwafemi, biology teacher. I'm here to teach this topic in biology. Hints on practical biology. Hints on practical biology. Biology as a subject requires two papers to be taken. The first paper is called paper one, which is the practical. And the paper two is the theory and objective. And the marks allocated to practical biology is 80 marks. It shows the importance of this paper. And students need to equip themselves in order to undo this aspect of biology. A critical analysis of practical question shows that students are expected to identify specimens. One, two, states observable features of specimens. Three, they are required to make simple classification. They can ask to name the class of the phylum or the kingdom a particular specimen belongs. Three, the question can also be asked, name the habitat of so-so-so specimens. Another area where question is usually asked is also in the area of states the economic importance of the specimen. Another area is least similarities between specimens. And a question can also ask, be asked in this format, states the differences between specimen A and specimen B. Question can also be asked on adaptive features. Today may be asked to state adaptive features of a specimen. Then there is no Practical question, you will not see a question that will require the student to make labeled drawing or specimen. And this carries large amounts of marks. Another area where question comes out is in the area of interpretation of biological data. Biological data will be given, so then will be asked to make graphical representation. So we want to go through all these areas one by one. Identification of specimen. When you are asked to identify a specimen, you are asked to name the specimen. The question can come in this form. Identify specimen A without reason, you are to name that specimen. And you need to be specific in your identification. For instance, if you are given a fruit to identify, mango fruit to identify, you identify that specimen as mango fruit, not mango. If you write mango, it's not specific. Is it a mango tree? Is it, is it a mango seedling? Mango fruit. Again, you may be asked to identify a specimen. The specimen could be in section. For instance, an orange can be given as, orange fruit can be given as a specimen. 
If that orange is cut from the top to the bottom, like in this format, that is what we call a longitudinal section. If it is cut sideways, it is called transverse section. So in that wise, if a transverse session of an orange fruit is given to you to identify, you must be specific. You must say transverse session of orange fruit. If it is a longitudinal session, you also need to be specific. Longitudinal session of orange fruit. There is no practical question, you won't see this question. So take note of this identification of specimen. You will meet it in your exam. Another area I want you to take a look at is observable features. Now, you may be given a specimen, let's say, a termite, or a bee, or a cockroach. Now, and you are asked, state the observable feature of specimen B. Suppose that specimen B is cockroach. What the examiner ex expected of you is to state those observable features you can see in that specimen. Cockroach is a common insect at home. Look at it closely. You will see that the body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. That is an observable feature. Look at that specimen again. You will discover that it has three pairs of jointed appendages, jointed legs. That is an observable feature. If you look at that specimen as well, you will discover that the body is segmented. That is an observable feature. When you look at that specimen again, you discover that it has a pair of antennae on the head. That is an observable feature. Features you can see with your eyes, visible. These are observable features. You will meet it in an exam. Again, you may be asked to name the habitat of a specimen. Say, for example, termite. Name the habitat of specimen C. Suppose our specimen C is termite. The answer will be what? Termitarium or and ear. That is the habitat. Question like that, expect it in an exam. Again, you may also come across this question. State adaptive features of a specimen. Adaptive features of a specimen. Let us go back to the to the Specimen with the earlier on observable features. Observe. Uh, we'll, we'll start, we'll, we'll, we'll go for a break from here. We'll come back soon. Taking a look at cockroach. Welcome back. Now, we want to look at adaptive features. 
When a question is asked on adaptive feature, it comes in this format. The question can say, state adaptive features of a specimen. It can also come like this, state the adaptive features and how the adaptive features help the organism to survive in its environment. In answering this question, when you state presence of jointed appendages, that is observable features of that specimen, what is that observable features used for? For movement. That is what will make you to score. Adaptive features, you state it and you state the function. There is no practical question, you will see this question. You will be asked to state adaptive features of specimens in an exam. Another area is that they can also ask you to state economic importance of specimen. When you are asked to say state economic importance of specimen, you are asked to state the advantages and disadvantages of that specimen, if any. Say for example, B, B, only B. If only B is given as a specimen, and you are asked to state the, adapt, the economic importance of that specimen. What are they? Number one, it helps in the pollination of flowers. Two, it helps in the production of honey. Three, it helps in the production of wax. Or it stings, it's painful, and may also cause death. Or it's five. Producing um, production of honey, production of rearing honey can serve as a source of employment or income. These are economic importance. Now, you can also be asked to make a simple biological drawing or specimen. This is very, very important. There's no practical question that you will not meet this question. Now come in this format. Make a label drawing of specimen A to show its essential features. What are those important things that you need to take into consideration? One, tie two. Tie two. You lift it from the question, drawing, showing specimen A, whether the longitudinal section or the transverse section or the lateral section, whatever section it may be, that is tied to. Then size, what makes you to score for size? The question will come, Make a little bit drawing, drawing eight to ten centimeter long of specimen A. It's telling you that the specimen must not be more than ten, the length must not be more than ten, and it must, it must not be more than less than eight to score for size. The clarity of lines. You use sharp pencil to make your drawings. Neat. Labeling. Neat labeling. So this is 
where we are going to drop the cutting. We will continue from here. Thank you for listening. See you next class.